What's going on everybody? Kyle with ePool Supply. Today we are going to do another what's in the box on Pentair's Creepy Crawly Legend. This one is their dark version, um, their dark gray version meant for darker pools. Stay tuned. So today we are going to go over Pentair's Creepy Crawly Legend Pressure Side Pool Cleaner. Uh, really cool cleaner. This is the dark gray version. They make two different versions. You've got a gray with a white bottom and then you have the full gray version. They, they recommend using the full gray version for anything of dark pebble tech, you know, any you know, black, uh, any anything like that where you have a darker pool surface because it actually makes this little guy kind of disappear in your pool. So we're gonna go ahead and rip into this and show you guys what comes in the box. It's a little crazy box, so I'm gonna take it off the table and actually pull it out. You'll see why in a second. Out to the side. Cool. Here we are. All in one. Oh, there goes the hubcap. All in one. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the hose out of here first. We'll go over that, and then uh, we'll go and go through the whole cleaner. Set this off. Set this out here. Let's actually go over this stuff in here first. So here's your bag. This really, really good quality bag from Pentair. Straight stock with the with the cleaner. Really big opening. Can accept all kinds of debris as long as it goes through the hole at the bottom of the cleaner. Uh, it's actually got a cool little float built into the back here so that it helps it actually stay up when it's connected. You got one part to connect to your hose here and then uh, there's there's the option here to hold it in order to rip the Velcro in order to open the bag when you need to clean it. So really cool. I like it. Again, gray. So if you got those darker colored pools, um, you know, the, the darker pebble techs, anything like that, really cool. What else we got in here? Warranty cards. Warranty cards are crucial. Please, please keep this, or at least read it, run through your warranty, find out what you're covered with, find out what we can help you with, at the same time on what Pentair's um, responsible for when anything goes wrong with this thing. They're expensive cleaners, we don't like to see them break, but things happen, so make sure you hold on to this because it's important. All right, cool, you got a little uh, accessory bag. They actually give you an extra hose nut in here. This is meant for the initial installation for the hose to the cleaner. This is what, uh, it comes with a little instruction packet in there so you can actually follow along on how you do it. It actually goes onto the hose on there and then you tighten it down with this hose nut to make sure that this does not come off the top of your cleaner, especially in the first time use because it takes all that initial pressure. So you'll need that, keep that. And last is your installation guide. All your tips and tricks, everything you need to know is in this booklet. So there are certain things you need to do with the hose. There's certain things you need to do with your booster pump. There's certain things that you need to do from the cleaner itself once you get everything installed. So make sure you walk through. It seems like a crazy huge book. It looks like a little mini encyclopedia, but it has every language. It's got English, Fran uh, French, Spanish, um, and even Italian. So. If you need to read in any other language, here you go. They've got the, the booklet for you, but very important. Make sure you go through it. Super, super helpful. All right, let me take this off. Oh, what did I miss? Oh, oh again, I already uh, kind of informed you about it, but they do put it in here where they're talking about the installation of your feed hose. They, they tell you that you will need to cut the feed hose, so make sure you read this, follow the instructions in your user manual. They walk you through it step by step on what you need to do and get everything hooked up correctly. All right, beastly hose here. So plenty of hose for a, a very large pool. So you, you don't need to buy any extra pool hose unless you're talking about an Olympic sized pool, which at that point you're probably not using a pressure cleaner. You probably have some other form of cleaning. So I wouldn't suggest buying any additional hose. 
keep what they give you in here and uh, only replace the sections as you need to because over time it is a it is a really good quality like plastic kind of material where it's almost kind of rubber at the same time so it will hold up to a lot of the stuff in your pool but over time just like anything else it takes the abuse of the sun and your chemicals and your kids swim in and, and, and any kind of damage that you do eventually have to replace these they'll crack they'll tear so check out the website we've got tons of them so that way you can uh, get any of your extra pieces needed they've got a pretty nifty little backup uh, pressure backup valve here is what these are actually called sorry so when when any issues with the cleaner happen where say it gets stuck or or there's a pressure issue from your pump and it needs to release pressure to avoid blowing up a pump or a filter or, or you know causing damage to the cleaner this will actually activate it's got a gear set in here that does eventually go bad and it activates and it actually has a nifty little hole right here on the bottom and water will come spewing out of that which pushes the cleaner back and actually helps move it around so that if anything's going on or release pressure so that you're not damaging your equipment so you do need to make make, make sure you do maintenance on this there's an o-ring in here on the lid that does require a, a good amount of lube to make sure that everything stays nice and tight in there and that you don't take the risk of any air leaks from this so so they do give you two different colors of gray in the hose. Um, a lot of the times that's just so you can distinguish what's gonna be a feed hose and what's actually um, a leader hose. So leader hoses are typically the opposite color. They're the, the lighter grays. Uh, when we get into the other models, they're like a, a clear or, or like a soft white, you know. Check out our other videos, you can kind of see the difference in that. But they like to distinguish them with just a little bit of different colors so then that way you know if you're looking at a part diagram or you need to do maintenance you know which parts that you're looking for so tons and tons of hose floats already pre-installed um, don't need to move them they put them in the proper location so depending on how much you have to cut off of your hose uh, at the beginning for installation um, you may want to kind of move them around and make it make it work a little bit better kind of keep the pressure off of the cleaner itself but they they do all that stock from the factory for you so um, aside from that there are some pretty nifty little gray swivels they have here so that your hoses don't actually get stuck and can uh, transition throughout so that way you don't need to worry about things getting wrapped up around each other these swivels actually keep the hose in a straight line every time and they're located I want to say about every six feet depending on which portion of hose you're looking at so they do they do give you plenty of those again for the functionality um, other part is the part that goes into your wall. So you've got your wall fitting here. It actually will twist off of this pressure relief valve. And this is what you're gonna actually take and you'll screw into the side port of, of, of your pool wall. So sometimes you'll already have one. If you're gonna buy the gray cleaner, you don't want a white one there, replace it with the gray one. If you've got one there and you don't really mind either way, you can actually take this off, put it in your pocket, put it in your toolbox, put it in your shed, whatever it may be, save it for later. Uh, very important part the the pressure relief valve does have a little filter here so this is actually going to stop any debris that comes from the, your pump or to your pump so then this way you're not worried about taking any damage so if you do have issues where this thing is sticking and it's it's constantly opening up and it's not it, it's causing issues always check this filter because this filter is really important you don't want to take the chance that you know a, a small hard piece of plastic or a rock or anything like that gets in there and destroys your couple hundred dollar pump you don't want to take that chance so check it out make sure you clean that often as much as you're going to take the cleaner out or as much as you clean your normal filtration basket just add that onto the checklist so it does have pressure relief valve here it's got a really really difficult spring so if any pressure buildup happens this will actually pop and it releases the pressure so then that way again you're not taking the chance of blowing up the cleaner causing more damage to the internals of the cleaner or to your pump and the rest of your equipment um, they do have multiple parts along the way that, that are very helpful so pressure relief valve really cool um, you can actually interchange a lot of different parts of this so if the the red part here actually does pop and you need to replace it you can actually buy that separately without having to buy the entire housing you can buy this part separately um, o-rings filters uh, you know all that stuff comes separately so check out the links below and we got a full breakdown list of this cleaner for you with uh, with great prices so check it out all right so let me set the hose off
Cool, let's jump into this bad boy. Oh, my tail sweep got stuck in the box, excuse me. Right on. This thing's pretty cool. Uh, nice four wheel cleaner. So you can, you can see how real easy it moves along um, our, our table, which uh, at the same time is going to move across the, the surface of your pool really well. Big beefy tires on it. They're like, again, same thing, a neoprene kind of rubber plastic combination. So they uh, they can kind of hold up to a lot of the, the wear and tear that your pool surface gives. So as you saw when I pulled it out, I lost one of the hubcaps. These just actually get in here and they Oh, I already have them on this side, it's on this one. They've got little spots on here where you actually just clip it in. You can see the slots here and another top slot. So real simple, just goes on, pressure, push, done. So that's how you're gonna access your wheel screws in order to replace the actual wheels. So if you crack any of the plastic, anything like that, really easy. Um, wheels themselves, super easy to come off. They peel off, you grab another one, you, you put it right back on, same directional thing. So obviously if it's not on, it's not going to spin freely for you. So um, it's got a pretty nifty little debris catcher here. So when you actually put the bag on, which the bag just plops on, and then actually you can see it's got a little directional twist where you'll actually just push down and twist it so it locks on so then that way bag's not popping off it's on there really well so I actually put it on backwards it's gonna go the other way for you because you're gonna want this part grabbing on to your hose that's gonna be up here so um, yeah I'll take that off for you but uh, as you can see it's a it's a really cool light gray and the body's actually um, clear-ish it's actually kind of got like a uh, little sparkles on it which is actually pretty cool so you can actually look in and see some of the moving parts of the cleaner um, really helpful if you're wondering if you got any debris in it you can actually turn the thing off to its side and see in and see if you've got pieces moving around in there and if you've got any issues so um, really really cool gray tail sweep with the uh, with the sweep hose uh, scrubber here. So this is just gonna whip around back and forth on the bottom as it follows behind the cleaner and it's gonna spray up. It's actually got a nozzle here. It's gonna spray up all dirt and debris as well as scrub the floor. So whether or not you got a gunite or you have a pebble tech pool, um, this is gonna scrub and do as much cleaning as it possibly can there for you. Um, you've got an actual float here on the cleaner, on the back of the cleaner, just so then that way, for whatever reason, the cleaner doesn't uh, <laughs> take off on you and do wheelies, because if it's doing wheelies, something's wrong. Typically, that means that this has got a crack, it's taking water, it's not helping the back end stay, um, keeping that front end pushed down and keeping the back end uh, moving like it should. So really, really easy to uh, take out. It literally just slides off. You can buy these. Um, I'd have to, you're going to want to check out the comments in the, in the section below for the exact part number of this. Uh, Pentair makes a version, Zodiac's got their own, everybody has different pieces, but I know with the gray one it is its own specific part number, so if you want to keep it original and keep it in the color scheme, make sure you check out below to get that part number. So. Yeah, I mean, all in all, it's a, it's a really, really nice uh, four-wheel cleaner. The Legend still uses the small the, the smaller pressure side hose. Um, it's bigger sister, the Legend 2, is the one that actually can use the full-size hose that can plug into a dedicated port um, on your pressure side there. So a little different if you've got that, but if you've got a standard pressure side cleaner and you want to use the same uh, hose and, and keep it going, great cleaner. Highly recommend it, especially if you got a darker color pool. Really nice when this thing's you know six feet down underneath the water uh, in conjunction with everything else. You you don't see it, which is really really cool to, to have it be doing the cleaning and not be being seen no matter what you're doing. So yeah, today we went over uh, what's in the box on Pentair's Creepy Crawly series, the Legend Cleaner. Again, this is the gray cleaner. We're gonna go over in another video on the regular. Um, they call it gray and white because it actually has a little bit different color scheme for you meant for lighter color pools so make sure you check that out um, i'm kyle with eat pool supply thanks for watching hey everyone thanks for watching subscribe today if you haven't subscribed check out the links below and we got a lot more content coming your way thank you